Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is second part of our quiz app using MVVM architecture and uh, Firebase database as a backend. In the first part, uh, I have showed you the demo app that we will be creating and in case you haven't checked that video, link is in the i button, go check it out. So let's talk about uh, why MVVM and how it does work. So basically MVVM just uh, provides a separation between UI and our business logic so whenever we want to add some feature or we want to remove some feature we can do it easily because uh, we already know where are the database operations and where are the views and and where are the other queries okay so yeah and also it is officially recommended by google in 2016 i guess so yeah most of the developers uh, these days use mvvm architecture for android apps and if you want to know uh, in detail about MVVM architecture, you can check out the video in the i button. That video I have explained how MVVM does work, so go check it out. So yeah, uh, in this video, we will start off the things with our project. And also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, do so. Link is in the description box. There I post some stuff related to programming and Android. And if you have some major issues, you can DM me as well. And also I'll provide whole source code in the description box as soon as we finish with this tutorial series. So yeah, I, I have created the empty project and it's just our main activity now. So what we'll do, uh, we'll first delete this uh, text view and, and our main activity is empty. So first thing that we will do is we'll connect this app to Firebase. So just click on the tools and then Firebase. Before that, uh, let's just create one project in Firebase. So, so go to official firebase.google.com and then click on go to console and I'll select add project. I'll name this project as crazy app. Click on continue and then continue. Select an account. So I'll write here crazy app. Click on save and location i'll keep it as united states and then I accept so it will create the project for us till then what we can do uh, search for jetpack navigation because we will be using uh, this uh, library for navigate through different different fragments and it's really easy uh, to use jetpack navigation i'll click on this second link and click on the get started with navigation components and then I'll copy this dependencies and we'll just paste it in the sorry build.gradle uh, app level. Let me just minimize this for a moment. I'll paste it over here and then click on sync now. So yeah, our project is ready. So I'll click on continue. So yeah, it is uh, created now in Android Studio this is still syncing till then what we can do we will use a firestore database so i'll just enable it so create database start in production mode okay click on next enable it's it is synced i guess yeah so till then i uh, will again click on the tools and then firebase the assistant will pop up then i uh, will require the cloud firestore so your yeah, cloud firestore database is created now we'll click on the get started with the firestore and then connect to firebase click on build so yeah it is built now again i'll click on the connect to firebase select the project that you have created Click on connect and yeah, uh, it is connected. So now in Android Studio, uh, add the Cloud Firestore SDK to our app, accept changes so it will add the dependencies. Okay, and also we will require authentication and we will be using a custom authentication system with email and password. So again, we will add this. So, okay, uh, now I'll minimize this and 
and here we will also require the storage for storing the images of waves so yeah we don't need to change any rules for this so okay now i'll close this and i'll close this as well so till now what we have done we have connected our app to firebase and we have added the jetpack navigation library so now what we'll do we'll click on this our resource and we will create new android resource directory and let's change it to navigation click on ok and then we'll click on it and new navigation resource file we'll name this one as now graph click on ok and for now we'll not add anything here so i'll close this and also we can uh, copy that fragment container so search for jetpack navigation click on this second line and click on the get started and i'll copy this one and we'll paste this in activity mail in here and it is already constrained so yeah then uh and now we'll click on the package and we'll create different packages for each segment means uh, we'll create different package for views different package for view model and different package for repository so let's just create first for views and then for view model and then for the repository click on ok so yeah i will explain all this view model repository when we'll get there so first what i'll do i'll click on the views and we'll create some fragments so click on the fragment and select blank first fragment will be splash fragment click on finish okay and then and then one for sign up and then for sign in so fragment and i'll name this as sign in then one for the list and then one for details fragment So don't get confused uh, it will be really easy and i'll explain all the things that we will be doing finish and again we'll require for quiz fragment where we'll show the quiz and then last one for results okay and now i'll close all the fragments okay so in the first part uh, i have showed you the demo app that we will be creating but uh, this is the ui and uh, be before it was like this uh, i have added the grid view but i don't like it and i have changed that to the linear layout means the image and then the title of that page so yeah and also we'll be using a sign in with email and password instead of sign in with google so yeah what i'll do first uh, i have downloaded this quiz image from internet and also this image from Fripit. i'll add the attribution to them in the description box so if you want the same image you can download it from there so i have exported the splash screen already in here you can implement it in android studio as well so now i'll just copy this in driver folder click on refractor just one image and then the background we we'll just add that background color in our colors so i'll copy this one and i'll paste it in the colors in here So we'll name it as a purple. Okay. 
and now I'll open the splash fragment screen and then uh, the layout of fragment splash and I will delete this text view and instead of uh, frame layout we will use constraint layout and let us change the background of this one so background will be splash okay and you just uh, delete all this stuff okay so we'll come back there uh, later again uh, for signing fragment so we'll open the sign up fragment first I'll delete this and I'll change the background to purple yeah looks good and also we will need that image I'll copy this paste it here okay and then I'll drag on image view and I'll select this one click on ok I'll constrain it actually we need to change uh, this formula to constraint layout so constraint layout is easy to use and that's why and this one to the top let's just keep it uh, in here okay and then uh, we'll require two edit text one for email one for password and we will require one button and also will require one text view yeah i'll constrain this one so i'll fast forward the video because it's simple and you can do it So I'll copy this color from here and in our colors file I'll add it over here and this will be let's name it as a light sky okay and we'll change the background of this button to light sky we can give it a color of black i guess yeah so we'll add another text view and we'll constraint it this will not do anything uh instead this is just for showing okay and actually we need to change uh, the background tint of this button okay and what we can do uh, we'll create separate variable for this edit text uh, let's name it as edit pg click on ok let's change this to shape and we'll add, add the stroke of color let's say white which will be 1dp 
and we'll add the corners to it of radius uh, 4 dp so we we'll select this edit text and flag the background of edit pg and to this one as well background to edit pg and let's just change the height to 45 dp this one to the 45 dp and we'll provide them a hint so this will be enter your email dot dot and in here it will be enter your password and we need to provide them a padding of 10 dp to this one as well padding of 10 dp and yeah now it looks cool to me let's just decrease this to 60 and let's just increase this to 32 yeah it's okay now what we'll do so our sign up page is ready and we just need to copy paste a lot of stuff so we'll copy whole code of sign up fragment and we'll paste it in the sign in fragment before that what we can do let's just change all the ids so this one is edit mail sign up this will be edit edit pass sign up and this will be sign up button this will be sign in text yeah now we'll paste that code in here So we just need to change the IDs. This will be edit, edit, uh, sign in. This will be pass edit, sign in. This will be sign button. So uh, you can select current file here. If you copied uh, the unchanged ID, unchanged ID from sign up, because if you change it uh, in here, it will change the ID of that uh, that views present in the sign up fragment as well. So in my case, we copied the code first and then we change the ID, so it will not messed up. But uh, if you copied the code of, after changing the IDs. You'll need to select a current file there, or it will be just messed up. And this will be sign up text. Just go here and select current file refractor, and we need to change this text. So right, not registered yet. Sign up. Cool. And instead of sign up, here we'll write sign in, and that look fine to me. We just change its ID to. It will not uh, have an issue, but let's just change it. So yeah, that's it for this part. In the next part, uh, we'll continue with the designing of our fragment list, fragment detail, and quiz fragment and result fragment. So yeah, do subscribe and thank you for watching.